Hey everybody, it's Craig Zuckerman with Z-Line Fitness and today I have tips and tricks to help pull parents, grandparents, mothers, fathers, even caretakers out of pain if you are breastfeeding or bottle feeding a baby. See, the position you get into to do this activity can really cause neck pain, upper back pain, lower back pain, and sciatica. But with these helpful, easy to do tips, that should prevent any of these pains from happening. I also have a couple of devices that are really cheap that you can pick up that will make this activity far less painful. So let's get to it. Hey moms and dads, I'm Craig Zuckerman with Z-Line Fitness and I'm coming to you today with some tips on what to do to prevent neck pain, upper back pain, lower back pain, and even sciatica while you're feeding your baby. Now, First thing to pay attention to is the way she's sitting. This is how you do I know it's a long day after work or just taking care of your baby, you wanna throw your feet up. But when your leg's up like this, it curves your low back, straining the low back muscles. With no support in the low back, this intensifies that strain in the low back muscles. And crossing the legs stretches out the hip muscles, which can offset your hip bones, the SI joint. What you wanna do first is uncross these legs, but what I'd rather have you do is not even use a stool at all. I know, I'm so mean. But this would be great, because now with the legs down, her lower back can go into its natural curve, and a little thing that would even help out more is take a pillow and throw it in your low back. Now that pillow may be too big for you, and you gotta test it out to see what works best for you, moms and dads, but what it does is it puts that curve in your low back, just like a lumbar support would do, in your car. And with that lumbar support, your natural curve of the back will prevent lower back strain on the muscles, even prevent herniations. And this is good too. Now, upper back. I know, moms, you're holding your baby, dads, you're holding them too, and all that strain in the upper back just starts to kill your neck. And this is one place that you can prevent some of that. The way to do that, grab this guy. Put this under the baby. Hey, you like that? That's comfy, huh? Hmm, see, and now he's more relaxed and especially mom is more relaxed. Her arms can rest now. There's no strain in these upper traps. He's higher up, so the angle of her looking down at her precious baby, because you gotta look at them, they're too cute. You can't not, is better. I would ask that moms, you keep your head as best up and looking down instead of getting really down into there for long periods of time. What will also help with this is to switch the side. So every feeding, switch which side you're feeding your baby on. I know with breastfeeding that may be a little more difficult, but do your best to switch that up so that the neck and shoulders that's being used, these muscles get to switch up too. If you add these things in, one more thing. If you have your legs crossed, even while you're sitting like this, yeah, go ahead, throw them up there, Lori. What this does is this now pulls the muscles in the hip destabilizing what's known as the SI joint. This creates tension in the muscles of the hip and that is where sciatica will come from or in the lower back and this is a big no-no. So if you must cross your legs, at least switch which leg you're crossing frequently. But the best way again would be back to keeping your legs on the ground, preventing that tension in the hips. Follow all these tips and you can prevent that neck pain and upper back pain, even lower back pain and sciatica while you're feeding your baby. Well, being a parent myself, I know it's hard enough just trying to get sleep, more or less dealing with all these aches and pains. So if you need some more help out, I got these videos here. I am Craig Zuckerman with Z-Line Fitness, helping you feel better, look better, and perform better.